Hey, my loves, it's Michelle from straightfromtheA.com, and I'm here to give you the tea. Please join me in watching Monique's latest video. Newsflash, Monique is back and she is not playing any games. Monique just hit Instagram with a lengthy post directed to John Murray and producer Will Packer. Hey my loves, I know y'all are saying what is Monique talking about now? Nothing but the truth. And when we had to stand and let you know what was going on with Netflix, a lot of people had a lot of opinions and we're okay with that. However, we're not okay with people lying. Now there's a reporter named John Mary who read an email that he received from a producer by the name of William Packer that he sent to my husband Sidney who's also my manager. However, what they did not do is send the rest of the emails. So we want to post the thread of the emails so you get a chance to see the behind the scenes of how a producer tried to intimidate, bully, and ruin someone's character. We want you to take a look at it for yourself. So please, be brave enough to swipe left and read those chain of emails. Now, I'm not one to gossip, but since she posted these on the internet, you can read them all at straightfromtheaid.com. In part, they're really, um, how can I say? It's just a really catty exchange between two grown-ass men. That's what I get from it. Will Packer goes on in one instance saying that, and I quote, I haven't been receiving your emails, text calls, carry opinions, or whatever other methods you've been using to try to reach me with your weak attempts to bait me that exhibit your unique understanding of the English language. The last thing I have time for to do is to read your needlessly long emails, spewing your mindless drivel. You lost the ability to communicate with me directly a long time ago. While you may have hours and hours of free time to sit behind a keyboard and spread poorly worded negativity, I do not. Any further correspondence you deem necessary, please communicate via your attorney, Ricky Anderson, who has managed to maintain strong relationships in this industry, despite often being on the opposite side of the negotiating table. Imagine that. There's more, but I'll let you read all that for yourself. In response, Sydney writes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve paragraph. Wait a minute, maybe I miscounted. Okay, an eight paragraph email. Back to producer Will Packer, and if I didn't know any better, I would think this was a lover's quarrel. The first paragraph of Sydney's email to Will states, How am I harassing you? Like I asked you for your love and you keep saying no or something like that. When in truth, I've only asked you to make things right with Monique. Due to you not standing behind the amount of weeks you said she would be needed for the film and her time commitment pertaining to travel for the promotion of this film, also, what could I possibly bait you into doing other than telling the truth by engaging in dialogue with me about the quote big three picture deal that you wanted to offer Monique to the sitcom that you unequivocally said would be shot in Atlanta but it all fell by the wayside, remember? Look, I don't know about you, but whatever they got, whatever this beef is they got going on, I, I just need them to squash it offline. I don't understand um, the importance of showing Sydney's response to Will Packer. But I guess, you know, turnabout is fair play. So if someone in Packer's camp felt it was okay to release those personal exchanges, then I, I assume, you know, it should be okay to release the entire thing. I don't know what Monique's point is, but I'm sure she'll tell us soon enough. But if you would like to read the entire email exchange, you can do so on straightfromtheaid.com. And I'll put the link right here, upper right-hand corner. And as if the emails weren't enough, Monique also spilled some tea about an incident that occurred on the set of Almost Christmas. Oh, in the last video, that's the fire where our trailers blew up on the set of Almost Christmas. I'm still waiting for the email from Mr. Packer asking was anybody harmed, injured, was anything lost, but we never got that.
If you have some thoughts on why Monique decided to share this information now, let me know because I'm a little bit clueless. Leave your comment down below and remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and visit straightfromthea.com.